ectopic pregnancy, the pregnancy that is not in the uterus. The fertilized egg settles and grows in any location other than the inner lining of the uterus. The large majority, 95% of ectopic pregnancies occur in the fallopian tube. However, they can occur in other locations, such as the ovary, cervix, and abdominal cavity. An ectopic pregnancy occurs in about 1 in 60 pregnancies. Most ectopic pregnancies occur in women 35 to 44 years of age. The term ectopic comes from the Greek ectopes meaning displacement ek, out of plus topis, place equals out of place. The first person to use ectopic in a medical context was the English obstetrician Robert Barnes 1817 to 1907 who applied it to an extrauterine pregnancy, an ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancies are frequently due to an inability of the fertilized egg to make its way to a fallopian tube into the uterus. Risk factors predisposing to an ectopic pregnancy include pelvic inflammatory disease PID which can damage the tube's functioning or leave it partly or completely blocked, surgery on a fallopian tube, surgery in the neighborhood of the fallopian tube which can leave adhesions bands of tissue that bind together surfaces and the neutriosis. The condition in which tissue like that normally lining the uterus is found outside the uterus. The prior ectopic pregnancy, a history of repeated induced abortions, a history of infertility problems or medications to stimulate ovulation, and an abnormality in the shape of the fallopian tube, as with a congenital malformation a birth defect. A major concern with an ectopic pregnancy is internal bleeding. If there is any doubt, seek medical attention promptly. Pain is usually the first symptom of an ectopic pregnancy. The pain is usually sharp and stabbing. It is often on one side and maybe in the pelvis abdomen or even in the shoulder or neck due to blood from a ruptured ectopic pregnancy building up under the diaphragm and the pain being referred up to the shoulder or neck. Weakness, dizziness or lightheadedness, and a sense of passing out upon standing can represent serious internal bleeding, requiring immediate medical attention. Diagnosis of an ectopic pregnancy include the pelvic exam to test for pain, tenderness or a mass in the abdomen. The most useful laboratory test is the measurement of the hormone HCG human chorionic gonadotropin. In a normal pregnancy, the level of HCG doubles about every two days during the first 10 weeks whereas in an ectopic pregnancy, the HCG rise is usually slower and lower than normal. Ultrasound can also help determine if a pregnancy is ectopic, as may sometimes called a sentences, the insertion of a needle through the vagina into the space behind the uterus to see if there is blood there from a ruptured fallopian tube. Treatment of an ectopic pregnancy is surgery, often by laparoscopy today, to remove the ill-fated pregnancy. A ruptured tube usually has to be removed. If the tube has yet not burst, 